what's happening everybody and welcome back what's on everybody's mind right now are the bulls back and watch out verse now why are you saying that oscar well because we just recently touched hubbard and now are a little bit down of the thirty-two thousand dollars, way above thirty thousand dollars for bitcoin and i understand some outcomes out there like cardano waves even you know some of some of the crazy ones are just not doing really well right now and people are saying man are we just getting or getting out of out of the bear market and well that's what i, I want to talk and discuss by the end of this video because what i'm seeing right now in the chart is are we really going to be touching that 200 moving average at 22 21 dollars looking at 32 31 dollars right now that's a ten thousand dollar difference and that's a lot of things can change when we look at the market on the nasdaq as we know correlates to bitcoin 12,000. So in a week, it increased 1,000 points. And in a week, Bitcoin went from 27, 28 to just 31, 32,000 dollars. Not bad at all. So those are the little things that I want to see. I'm like, okay, wow. I look at the air server right now. It's coming up a little bit, just a little tick. I look at the Bollinger Bands. It was really nice. And this is the week view. This is the week view. Why is important? Because in the last seven weeks, down, 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 April and May, pretty tough. Now, the end the last days of may we're finally seeing something positive and hopefully this is what a lot of people are saying right i mean you take a look at all the videos already on youtube and and twitter that june 2022 can be where the bulls take over and we see another bull market is that what you see is that what you want to see happen well let me know in the comments down below right now sit down relax don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells and let's go ahead and talk about crypto and bitcoin happy to have you back guys now i really like this everybody because in a way it's been a really tough 2022 i think you and i know that very well Ever since we started this year, it's just been down and a garbage type, type of scenario for DeFi and for a lot of different protocols. Uh, some of them already categorized as garbage because it's not turning positive, right? For them, it's turning just negative and losses, losses, losses. I mean, you already know if you're a mature investor that you don't have to sell at a loss, but I'll leave that to you. When it comes to me, Bitcoin in this type of bear scenario, it is once again reminding us how important it is to hold, buy low, and let Bitcoin just do its thing by doing nothing but just hold it. That's it. Just by holding Bitcoin. There's not really any other tool that you need, but just hold it, probably put it to stake somewhere so you get a little passive income on that. That's it. Um, not really overcomplicated things, just holding Bitcoin in this case. That's what I like to talk about it. Of course, some other altcoins will be much better for faster returns. But when it comes to Bitcoin, that's just the name of the game. And let me show you a couple of things. Adoption. And that comes from the big B, Binance, right? Bitcoin is trending. And it will continue to be trending if it actually from the 31, 32,000 jumps all the way up. According, according to the technical analysis, if I look at the Bollinger Band's middle, that will be putting us at $34,000, $35,000. Now, adoption, integrations, massive adoptions, and partnerships and all of that, that's what we've seen ever since we started 2022. The problem is, in the bear market, they, it doesn't care about what Bitcoin does for humanity. It just cares about what people liquidate. And when people liquidate and sell off, prices of everything come crashing down. And that's what I'm saying as well. NASDAQ correlated. This is right here, May 24th, 11,264, now almost a thousand points above. And it will continue rising as the market continues trading up, right? In the general market right now for Bitcoin, still, of course, number one, we're looking 1.30 and above. That's great. I mean, honestly, I mean, if, as always, right, things can change. This is cryptocurrency, can change. All, all, all of a sudden, we can be a game back to the one less than 1.20, 1.24, and Bitcoin again at $28,000. It's going to be a lot of bullish momentum and people on Twitter. Just be aware of that. Still, the fear. And if you know, these are the best times to get in a position because I most some of my positions I got in when I was in bullish or neutral, but this is exactly what you wait and people liquidate at the top and come in with all their bags full to start loading at these levels because that's how they did that is the name of the game 
to make yourself really rich and wealthy with cryptocurrency for a long time. You know that, right? On this one, everybody, halving is coming in 2024, so it's still a long way to go. Ha kind of like halfway there, right? So it's really an unknown of what's going to come. Either we're going to continue dropping or we're going to finally come back up. One thing is sure. In this 2022 time, we already received tons of bullish news that there's no lack of them. We have plenty to spare. So having that on our heads, if in 2022 have at least one break to the upside, so bulls come in and swing to the to the bears, that little bull, bullish momentum can really pass. It's $40,000. I'm pretty sure about that. At that moment, What's going to happen with altcoins? Well, they're going to come up too. And we're going to see which one did survive. Because as you know, some of them are really, really down. But on this one, Cardano with 11 to 17% up. That is incredible. Of course, holding this one. And I know many of you have 60 cents, which is good. Passing Solana, passing XRP. And this is something that people are talking right now. And things change here in the, in, in the 10 by market capitalization. But the number twos. These are coming. Ethereum, the merch is coming. So I'm sure. And the DeFi, according to DeFi Lama, Ethereum is actually gaining some percentage in the DeFi space on TBL. So I like it. I mean, you can tell how the reliable options, the OGs, right, are still holding strong, even though we received a massive bear market specifically for altcoins, right? And just to give you an idea, if you watch my videos on Kronos, you're going to see how Kronos ecosystem was demolished on price liquidations and taking outs from the TVL. And they're still here. Some of them I still hold. So I like to make this point of view so you understand how difficult this is for altcoins. But for Bitcoin, it's looking really well. And I love that a lot. And to give you some predictions, right, just with token metrics, great place. If you want to do more, let me know in the comments down below. I give you a discount on this one uh, code. But here, according to the predictions, it does seem that we are going to either consolidate at these levels and keep going up, which is pretty good. We still need more data on this in June. But so far, you can tell how March, April and May, just a really tough scenario. But right now, can we just start coming up and then finally rising, holding and rising for these new prices? That will be something that I will really, really like. So far, prices of Bitcoin and things are coming up. Is trending, which is really good. And well, if we don't touch that 200 MA, I'll be pretty happy the moving average because according to history, we always do before we rise up. So watch out, can be a bull trap. Always be on the radar, always be looking at things and have money on the side because things change really quickly in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.